squad up a bit of for the sake hashtag games. Before I start this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that the notification bell, stay up to date with all of my motherfucking videos. Follow me on Instagram, and I'm Fitness, and follow my band, Divided Dimension, on Spotify. Everything you need to know will be in the description box below. Give the video a thumbs up, doesn't cost you guys a fuck a penny, and it helps the channel grow, so I really would appreciate if you hit the thumbs up button. All right, I have a review for you guys today, an anticipated review, right here. Wrecked, extreme, anticipated by the Review Bros. Huge supplements collabed with the Review Bros. Guys, this is this is epic right here, guys. This is fucking epic, all right? And I'm gonna tell you why. It's because Review Bros, me, Review Bros, all the review channels have been growing consistently. And um, to see them collab with, with a legit company and to come out with a fucking pre-workout is just... It's, it's a moment, you know what I'm saying? It's a fucking moment. So I'm really proud of these guys, really proud of Review Bros on what they've done, where they came from, where they're at now, where they're going in the future. And um, they fucking picked me to uh, review this shit, okay? They picked me and um, I, I gotta call respect on that. So thank you guys very much. Thanks Review Bros and thanks Huge Supplements um, for sending this over. Give me the opportunity to review it on my channel and um, you know, because you want my thoughts on it, and that means a lot. So, <clears throat> I got to call a spade a spade, guys. Got to pay my fucking respects, all right? So, Wrecked Extreme, it's a Review Bros collaboration pre-workout, okay? They they took they took the Wrecked, the original Wrecked, and then they put their own spin on it, all right? This is their own formula, all right? So, if you guys haven't seen my review on Wrecked, I was actually a decent fan of it. I thought it was a really good, hard-hitting pre-workout. Um, and it did have alpha yohimbine in it, which I don't obviously like. Um, and this one also has alpha yohimbine in it, which is only one milligram. Thank God they didn't go overdose on that shit because they went overdose on a lot of this other shit. So, um, so before we get into anything, let's go ahead and get into that price point. And I'm going to be honest, I don't fucking know the price point. I'm going to assume it's $45 because that's what the original rec is. And the original rect is 25 servings, and this is 20 servings. So I'm going to say it's probably $45. I'm hoping I'm right. Um, and you can use the coupon code OPPERMANFITNESS10. It'll get you 10% off, bringing this down to $40 for 20 servings. So that is coming in at $2 a serving, which is obviously... Um, it's, it's obviously an expensive pre-workout, right? $2 a serving... It's obviously an expensive pre-workout, but this is a stim junkie extreme type of pre-workout. This isn't a scoop and a halfer. This isn't a scoop and three quarters. This isn't a two scooper. This is one scoop or less. And honestly, probably less. And I'll get into that in a second, okay? All right, so, I mean, the price point is what it is. That's just what it is. And hopefully that's right, because I'm not even sure if that's right. Um, by the way, if you're watching this video, congratulations. This fucking, um, this product is live and it is available. So you guys don't want to miss out. Um, review Bro said this shit's going to sell out fast and it's probably going to sell out fast, you know, with the review coming out and, and anyone else that's talking about it and Review Bro's talking about it, everybody's talking about it. So when this bad boy goes live, it when when then, when you see this video, this, this shit is live, all right? So you guys can go on the link and get it before it fucking sells out, all right? But that's the price point. Let's go and get into this label. So the label, I'm just gonna go over the dosages. I'm gonna put up the screen what they're supposed to, what they're supposed to do because the review bros already did like a, a, a breakdown of each ingredient. So there's no point in me talking about the ingredients if there's actually a fucking thing that says what the ingredients do. All right. So I'm just gonna read over the label here. Citrulline six grams, beta alanine four grams, tyrosine 1.5 grams, alpha GPC 600 milligrams, caffeine anhydrase 250 milligrams. N-phenol dimethylamine, 200 milligrams. Caffeine citrate, 168 milligrams. Two amino, six methyl heptane, HCL, 150 milligrams. Hortanine, 150 milligrams. Dicaffeine amylate, 100 milligrams. <clears throat> Theanine, 100 milligrams. Hygienamine, 50 milligrams. Paradoxin, which is grains of paradise, 30 milligrams. Huperzine A, 20 milligrams. Bioprene at 10 milligrams. And Ralufsine, which is alpha yohimbine, one milligram. All right, so. Boom, it's pretty stacked label, right? Pretty stim heavy, pretty focus heavy. Um, not a crazy amount of stuff in here for pumps. Honestly, just the citrulline from what I'm seeing. And um, beta alanine coming in at four grams. Nice solid dosage, gonna give you the beta tingles and all that shit. 
Um, so what you have here is some stems, some focus, and some fat burning elements, okay? That's pretty much what I'm seeing here. Boom. All right, so, so let's get into that taste test. Before I get into my effects, I did do a taste test. Um, obviously, I've already ran it, so I'm going to throw in the taste test segment. So here's the taste test segment. All right, this is the taste test segment on Jungle Candy Wrecked. Here we go. Got the bad boy right here. No artificial colors or any of that shit. Taste test. I'm excited. It's like a cherry candy or something. Maybe like a, a cherry sucker. A cherry sucker, pretty much. I'm getting cherry. Maybe I'm wrong. But it's like a, a tropical candy type of taste. Um, yeah, not bad. I mean, there's a little bit of like a sting in the background. Maybe it's a little bit of that Grains of Paradise or uh, something else. The Bioprene, maybe. But, um... It's pretty good. It's it's enjoyable. It's it's drinkable. You know, it's not the greatest tasting thing. Um, you know, that, that little sting in the background, but the ta the initial taste is really good. Just a little bit of sting in the background. With that being said, I have no problem just giving this like a solid eight eight out of ten for flavor. Um, and um, you know, if the sting wasn't there, maybe I'd give it a nine. But I gotta call a spade a spade. I feel some tingling, like not some tingling, but some like sting in the background, like. Uh, like a spice type of um lingering in the background so eight out of ten still drinkable still enjoyable anyways who the fuck cares about flavor as tj would say and let's get to the effects section all right that is the taste test segment it actually does taste pretty good it does have that sting i i'm assuming it's the grains of paradise and the bioprene probably both of those things are, are causing that like little burn little sting effect uh, on the taste buds after you drink it so I called it what it was it does taste really good but um you know unfortunately i had to drop it down a little bit because of the stinging effect so let's get in the effects the moment you guys have been waiting for the moment the review bros are probably waiting for the moment everybody's waiting for how does this thing stand up in real life and in the fucking gym all right labels are just fucking labels and um this thing could say fucking it's got everything in the world on it and it, it might not do shit, right? We don't know. So, our label's just labels. What does this thing do in the gym? All right, time to, enough cliffhanger. Let's get into the effects. All right, so I'm gonna start it off with medium to high, leaning towards high beta alanine filling. You definitely get the, the, um, the, 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 the beta alanine feeling, right? You know, it gets on your skin. You just have the feeling of like there's something on you. It feels kind of hot. And um, everyone knows the beta alanine feeling, right? That's in the medium to high category, okay? Medium smooth energy. I don't think this is crazy energy here. It's medium energy. And the reason being is because two of the, well, two of the three uh, caffeine sources are, are slow sustain, slow releasing. The only immediate energy you're getting here is 250 milligrams. 250 milligrams to me, doesn't do an insane amount of energy for me, right? So, medium smooth energy, that's what I got, okay? Um, coming in at for the pumps, citrulline's the only really thing in here for pumps, and I always have really good vascularity. Um, anyways, um, I'm gonna put a clip in where I'm doing some bicep curls and shit, and I'm getting vascular and all that shit. So I would just, I don't know how to, I don't know how to describe the pumps. I would say they're in the medium to maybe medium high category. Um, even with the six grams of citrulline, um, citrulline holding it down on the pumps category. So I gotta call it is, I always have vascularity anyways, and I always get a lot of pumps regardless, even if I have, you know, even if I just go to the gym and just drink fucking BCAAs, it doesn't really matter for me. Um, and one of the reasons is because I'm already lean. You know, I just woke up today and I'm probably vascular. Yeah, not a, not that crazy, but I mean, I'm just, you know, it's, I don't know. It is what it is. Pumps category, I, I'm always leery on trying to give my thoughts on it because it's, it's hard to gauge. Um, obviously, I could tell if I'm more fuller or, or, or less fuller than, than, than normal, you know, but at the end of the day, I'm usually vascular anyways. 
but I'm just gonna say at least medium pumps, okay? Could be a little bit better. I just, that's that's how, how I'm gonna gauge that one. All right, so medium to high sense of urgency. You know, with the, the grains of paradise and the, the alpha yo coming in and the beta alanine, you get this like sense of urgency and this like thermal effect coming in. So you definitely get that sense of urgency and you wanna start moving around and doing shit. Medium to high sense of urgency. Medium to high focus and mind muscle connection, all right? So the focus coming in with all that shit, right? Tyrosine and alpha GPC, right? <clears throat> so you definitely get the focus and I'd say it's in the medium to high category and you're just dialed in, you're really connected with the muscles and you're just feeling it, right? So next is my motivation wasn't over the top. I'm just gonna put that one in the medium category. It's kind of like, it's almost neutral. I don't know. It, it's I had motivation, but it wasn't like super crazy motivation. And I wasn't like depressed. I was just, it was a normal, neutral, medium motivation for me. Um, <clears throat> next coming in, a medium thermal effect, right? So like I said, with the Grains of Paradise and the Alpha Johan Mine, and you know, whatever else, whatever else could have paired up and helped that. Um, you get the, you get the thermal effect, right? You feel like you're hot, you feel, you start to sweat and uh, you get that thermal effect. It's just, you just get it. I would say it's in the medium category though. You're not super profusely sweating your ass off all over the fucking place. You could definitely tell there's thermal um, ingredients in here giving you that like thermal burn type of feeling, all right? Um, <clears throat> and it's like a, the mood is like a get shit done type of mood. So when I say media motivation, um, my motivation, I don't know, you could gauge motivation and get shit done are kind of in the same category, but the effects overall is like a get shit done type of feeling. And how would I rate this pre-workout in general? Not like a rating, like a zero to 10 type of thing, but like, who's this for, right? And what I came up with is, this is a unique experience. It's a mid-grade stim junkie type of pre-workout with medium thermal effect. So if you could think of a really solid stim junkie type of pre-workout, add like a thermal effect to that, and that's kind of what you're getting here, okay? So that's, that's, what, that's, that's my feelings, that's my thoughts. I hope I broke this down enough for everyone to understand and what to expect. And like I said, that was with well, actually, I haven't said it yet. That was with one scoop, right? And there was a couple days where I underscooped it just a slightly. Um, I think it's 14, yes, seven. it's 17 grams. I did uh, 14 grams, and I think I did 13 grams another day. So that was just slightly underdosing it. But a full fact, that's what you're expecting here. If you underdose it a little bit, you'll get all of these categories, obviously, a little less. So that's my final thoughts. If you guys wanna try it out, try it out. Like I said, um, and um, I think you're gonna, I think you're gonna like it. If you're a stim junkie type of person and, you're, and you want a little bit of a thermal effect, I think you're gonna like this and you can obviously gauge it however you like. Um, if you're seeing this video now, like I said, this video, this product is live and it is available. So pick it up, support Review Bros, and make sure you use my coupon code, Opperman Fitness 10, it'll get you 10% off. And other than that, I do want to thank Huge Supplements for sending, sending this over and Review Bros for picking me to review this because there's only a limited amount of stock. And once it's out, I'm pretty sure it's just out unless they restock it later down the road or come out with a V2 or something like that. But anyways, this thing is live. So make sure you guys support the Review Bros, support um, Huge Supplements. And other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Everything you need to know will be in the description box below. All my social media will be in the description box below. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, all that good stuff. And other than that, guys, we're progressing and never regressing. And I'll check you guys later.